welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so glad that you found me. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you enjoyed previous videos as well. If you are not subscribed, first of all, why not? Second of all, hit that subscribe button. Also hit that like, comment, share, do whatever. Because I think, I think you're going to like this video. You're going to want people to see this video. So I am here with a workout challenge type of video. Something new, something different to spice things up. But I decided to do the Maki Zen and workout routine. I actually found this routine on TikTok. Someone have posted themselves doing the lower body portion of the routine. And first of all, if you've seen Jujutsu Kaisen, you know who Maki is. Maki is so strong. She's such an incredible character. I love her personality. I love how she was created. She's super strong. And I couldn't pass up the opportunity to not do this routine. So this is a routine that is actually found on a website called SuperheroJack.com. I actually heard them before. Early in the year, another TikTok had actually posted about them. So I actually went on the website before but I just never went back until now. So Superhero Jacked has a lot of workout routines based on different anime characters but not just anime characters but also superheroes and celebrities as well. So the fact that there's a workout routine based on Maki Zenin I thought that was fantastic and an opportunity that I could not miss. So I actually did this challenge for two weeks. And that is because there is an upper body portion of the workout and a lower body portion of the workout. So in order to truly get um, genuine results and to get the best out of this workout, I decided to do it for two weeks instead of one. And I did change up the routine. So I'm actually going to link the exact workout routine for Maki in the description below if anyone wants to try it or just look at it. But I did change it up because some things on the workout I just simply couldn't do and I wanted to do something that was in my capability and was still effective. I actually didn't make many changes but there are some things that I did differently that I, I believe could have affected my results. But for one thing I'm going to mention, if you look at the exact routine you'll see that it gives you the option to do 50 jump ropes, 50 jumping jacks, and 50 mountain climbers. Well, I decided to kind of spice it up a little bit and instead of just doing one of those, I did two. For example, for my upper body routine, I did 50 jump ropes and then I did 50 jumping jacks and then 25 push-ups. But then I did 50 jump ropes again and then I did 50 mountain climbers. And then after that, I did 20 sit-ups, 50 jump ropes again. And then one change I made was that I did a one minute plank and then I did 50 jump ropes again, 50 jumping jacks, 25 lying leg raises, 50 jump ropes, 50 mountain climbers, and then another change I made was that I did 10 alternating toe taps. For the lower body portion of the workout routine, it's kind of the same. So I did 50 jump ropes, 50 jumping jacks, I did 25 squats, I did 50 jump ropes, 50 mountain climbers, and one change on this part is I did 20 crunches because I tried to do the v-ups but it just wasn't working for me and it kind of I felt a little bit of pain and I didn't want to strain myself so I just did what I knew that I could do and was still effective so I did 20 crunches instead and then I did 50 jump ropes 20 glute bridges 50 jump ropes 50 jumping jacks 30 footer kicks 50 jump ropes 50 mountain climbers and then another change is that I did 20 sumo squats and the thing is what I believe makes this so effective is that you actually do this for five rounds. You don't just do it once or twice, you do it five times. So imagine doing all of this five times. I've actually never done that before. The most amount of sets that I have done for a workout is three, and even then they're short workouts. So this was something that was definitely new for me and definitely a struggle, but I was so excited to see what I was capable of. As for my diet, I really didn't change much. I wasn't really trying to eat takeout as much. That was the one goal I had. Now, did I eat takeout at all? Absolutely. Um, I did eat takeout in both weeks, but I did try to make sure I was eating more home-cooked meals than actually going out to eat. 
just um, so I can learn how to watch what I eat better. And if I did, I would just try to make better options. I did not restrict. If anything, I would try to substitute what I was craving for something healthier. But if I was still craving it, I wouldn't just not get it. I would end up caving in just to satisfy that craving and just get it over with. Because there's nothing wrong with that. As long as you're eating in moderation, it should be fine. But I was trying to stay in a caloric deficit as well, so that probably also helped. probably wondering how did we get to day three and we just started the video so I had actually filmed day one I filmed it outside I did not film the day two but I did film the day one because obviously if I want to start I want to start off strong and I wanted to have good footage for you guys to actually see the workout routine Monday or the first day would have been when I did the upper body only portion of the routine but when I was filming day three, I was multitasking and not paying attention. And when I was trying to delete some footage that I no longer wanted, I accidentally deleted everything off of my camera. So that included any past videos I made, any past photos I had, and the footage that I filmed for day one. So instead, we're going to start off with day three. And day three was the lower body portion of the workout. So now we're moving on to day four and I am so sorry that this clip is so short. I have been having battery problems with my camera. It'll say battery exhausted and just completely shut down in the middle of recording. So this was all I could get. I'm really sorry about that, but you know, subscribe, like, comment, share, just so you know your girl can get a YouTube chat and I can buy a brand new camera and I can film all the content in the world for you guys without any problems. Day five, I just finished the workout. It is currently 2.05 in the morning. I started at 11. Again, I'm sorry that I didn't have that much footage. Lately, um, my camera has been bugging out. It keeps saying that the battery is exhausted and I can try them again, but it's only gonna be like another minute long um, video footage. So I'm just gonna try to do like in caps from now on, just so you guys can have some footage of me and kind of showing proof that I did do the workout. But um, again, today was upper body. I actually made some changes to this routine today. So instead of doing like jumping jacks and jump roping and then like jump roping and mountain climbers, I just did a hundred jumps of jump ropes. That way I'm still kind of getting that double um, amount of workout, but it's just still like one thing. I just thought that was easier. I don't know if I'm, if I'm gonna keep it that way for week two, but that's just what I did. And then I also, um, instead of toe taps, because I kind of just didn't want to do toe taps, I did um, four sets of 45 second um, stomach vacuums for five rounds. So I kind of just changed that up a little bit. That's probably actually not going to like stick, but that was just what I did today. But yeah, today was actually um, a lot easier, but it did take me a lot longer today. So yeah, that was day two and the end of week one. So see you guys for week two. Hey guys, um, so I just finished day one of week two of the Maki workout. I only did one round today because my body had just been really sore. I didn't want to overwork myself and overdo it and I already used up two of my rest days. So I just did one round. And then I'm going to do the other four rounds in the morning and just finish that out as well as do um, day two, which is going to be the lower body portion of the workout. But yeah, I just wanted to at least document and say that I did at least one round of day one for today. So, so now we are on to day three of week two. And at this point, I am super over it. 
I'm tired. I actually think by day three, I was already over it. But I think that was mostly because I would have to do the workouts pretty late at night because I would be out during the day, but then when I come home, I would have to babysit. So by the time I get done babysitting, it was around like 10.30 at night. And I tried to get my workouts in before 12 in the morning, just for accuracy. So my body ached, I was tired, I didn't feel like doing it, and I was just completely over it by this point. And then now we are on day four of week two. So here, I actually wanted to get some footage of me at the gym doing some exercises. So before this, I actually walked on a treadmill at a speed of three at in an incline of nine for about 10 minutes. I usually do 20 minutes, but I just wasn't really feeling it because I walked around a lot earlier that day. So I cut it short by 10 minutes. But then I also went to the stationary bikes and rode that for 10 minutes as well just to get my normal cardio time in. And then as you can see, I did sit ups with the medicine ball. I usually use an 8 pound weighted medicine ball, but this time I found a 10 pound one that I usually never see. I don't know if it's just always used up or taken, but I've never seen a 10 pound medicine ball at the Planet of Fitness I go to. The highest I usually find is 8, so when I found a 10 pound one, I was ecstatic because I was getting so used to 8 pound one, I wanted something a little bit heavier for me. Because I was so busy talking, I forgot to tell you guys. Um, I do, for all my workouts that I do, I do 3 sets of 15 reps. So I did 3 sets and 15 reps of the sit-ups, and now I'm doing 3 sets and 15 reps of the Russian twists. And I count going left and right as one so instead of going left one right two it's actually left and right as one left and right two and now you can see me trying to attempt to do a deadlift i have never done these before but i keep hearing how they're very effective and i always want to try it so my form may not be the best and i know that i am still learning and i'm trying to work on it but i used a 20 pound weight and I just I didn't really count how many reps I was doing simply simply because I was just trying it out and I just wanted to see how it felt and get the feel of it. And then after that I went home and I finished day four off doing the 30 minute Google. This was actually supposed to be the upper body routine but because I was so tired from earlier and I did go to the gym to get a workout and I decided to just go easy on my body and just switch it up and do the 30 minute hula hoop instead and then I just did the upper body workout the next day and this hula hoop is weighted by the way I believe it's three pounds so we are finally at the last day um that's one of my PJs so this is the upper body routine at this point I'm just excited to get it over with this day actually took me a really long time to finish it took me about all together about like three hours simply because um the first round I got through pretty easily but after that first round I sat down on the couch and I didn't want to get back up I didn't really feel like it so my rest took way longer and that kind of caused me to be up until 4 in the morning trying to finish those four other rounds.
so thank you guys so much for watching this video and watching my journey along with this little routine um if you guys do try it i hope you have a great time i would really love to see how it works for you but thank you for watching and i will see you guys next time